here is we're, why are we seeing such a rise in violence and bigotry against Mus Muslims in India? Right. So <clears throat> let me first uh, just say to you that uh, being a Hindu, it is my duty, being a Hindu, to fight for justice and against injustice, against all people everywhere. That is, in fact, also the message of the Holy Quran. That is the message of Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him. Prophet Muhammad always said, you have to fight against injustice, no matter who it is for, no matter who, where, in which part of the world. He did not say, you only fight for injustice, you only fight for justice and against injustice uh, for Muslims. He said, you fight for justice for all people. Uh, <clears throat> what's happening in India is very unfortunate. I am an Indian, I am a Hindu, I come from India. And for all my life since I was born and raised, we did not see or experience any discrimination. Yes, there were structural discriminations, of course, against people because it's a, it's a work in progress that society has many, many uh, fault lines. But the kind of attacks on Muslims that we have witnessed in the last eight years, and I say eight years because it was eight years ago in the month of May 2014, that India's current Prime Minister Narendra Modi, he came to power. Narendra Modi is a bigot. He is a Hindu supremacist. He is an Islamophobe. He is a hater of Muslims. He is somebody who has presided, presided over a massacre of Muslims. Narendra Modi belongs to a party called the Bharatiya Janata Party that translates as Indian People's Party. There is nothing Indian about it. It is a vile party. It is a vicious party with a horrible, horrible ideology driving it. Because the BJP is an offshoot of a much larger organization. That organization is called the Rashtriya Swayam Sevak Sangh. That's a mouthful. It's the, the original is an Indian language. It translates as National Volunteer Corps. The RSS, as it is more popularly known, was founded in 1925. So it's about to complete 97 years on just one ideology, and that is the ideology of Hindu supremacism. The ideology of Hindu supremacism, or it is also known as Hindutva, is very explicit. And it says, India belongs only to the Hindus. Non-Hindus, such as Muslims and Christians, are foreigners. They are aliens. They do not belong to India. India should be run only by the Hindus, for the Hindus, and Muslims and Christians should not have even... Uh, should not have fundamental rights, should be treated worse than second-class citizens. That is the ideology of the RSS. The RSS is the ideological parent of the BJP. The BJP is in power in parliament in India, which brought Narendra Modi into power as prime minister. And that is why this ideological movement, this political party being in power in India, it has been driving the violence against Muslims all across India, leading to mob lynchings of Muslims, leading to demolitions of Muslim homes and businesses, leading to acts of vandalism and desecration and demolition of Muslim places of worship such as mosques as, as well as Eidgah uh, Maidans. All of that is being done and now they are trying to get Muslims, uh, deny Muslims their citizenship by bringing a new citizenship law. That is what is happening in India.